Hey, what's up guys? Um, recently I've been getting a lot of comments on uh, my video, this Mewmi 9.9 JIT. Um, some people said that the latest update, um, there's something wrong with it, or, uh, it, yeah, it says the emulator crashes when I open a ROM help. So, uh, yeah, I, I said I would make a little, uh, video later, and that was a week ago, but I didn't get around the time to do it. So, um, the latest update is the 18th of February, so you know what, I don't even have this update, so I'm gonna go ahead and download that. Just give me one quick second. Just mew me. And, yeah, there we go. So once you download it, and, uh, you have it right there, this is gonna confuse you a little bit, so I'm just gonna le delete this one. Alright, so here's here's the uh, latest update one. So when you extract it, um, yes to all. It's going to replace the old ones. It's going to have the new ones. So just make sure you delete the oldest view me. Right there, and delete. Yes. And well, it's open, so I'm just going to have to close it right there. Um, that's 1.13, 2.18. 218 is uh, February 18, so that's the latest one. And then, just gonna have to pin it because I have it pinned to the desktop over here. So when one you when you open it, people uh, people uh, have been telling me that when they open a ROM, it it freezes. I'm gonna see if it freezes right now, and I'm gonna show you how 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 to fix it. Just waiting here. Mm. Yeah, but okay. So this this Mumi is actually pretty smart. Already memorizes the thing. The thing where I say, but what you gotta do is that if it freezes on you, make sure you go to the emulation settings, and then you have the U use external BIOS images and emulate SWIs with BIOS images, and use external fire firmware image. All these three checked, and then you have to just uh, open the folder where you have the ARM9 BIOS. And um, the ARM9 would be uh, BIOS NDS9. The ARM7 would be the BIOS NDS7. And the fir the firmware would be the firmware. And uh, if you don't have these files, um, I will leave a link in the description. And yeah, um, this you can leave unchecked. This one you can leave unchecked. This one you could also leave unchecked. Make sure you have Use Dynamic Recomplier. Um, let me just read this out to you. This is deterministic. It is much more stable and comparable, really, to mo most other emulator recompliers. This magic is at the expense of some of the potential speed. So, um, so basically, it says that you get 50% speed, um, which is actually pretty true. Um, if you saw in the last video, um, what I said was that it actually focuses most of your CPU to the emulator. So when you're recording, um, the, it doesn't lag as much. And uh, if I look at, if I give you my computer specs right now, um, it they're not, the, it, the specs are not that great. It's a 64-bit operating system, 4 gigs of RAM, uh, 2.3 gigahertz. Um, that's actually pretty good, but yeah, I have a Pentium, so the processor is not that bad, and neither is the uh, graphics card. But you don't, if you have a computer like me, even though, uh, even if you have a 32-bit system, which uh, I like to point out, it's times 86. Times 64 is 64 bit, and times 86 is 32 bit. Just so you guys know. So yeah, if you have that, it it, it will run good. Uh, so yeah, basically that's what you have to do. 
um, you press OK and then uh, it'll reset the ROM or whatever make sure you do this before it um, you load the ROM itself so um, it doesn't freeze while it's loading the ROM uh, so just to go over the settings soft rasterizer um, there's an OpenGL 3.2 um, I don't know I haven't used that maybe there's a new yeah it yeah the OpenGL sucks sucks ass so you you don't want the OpenGL you want soft rasterizer and enable check textures um, unreal unrealistically high precision color interpretation yeah that's gonna make it right so let's not have that you don't want that so sound settings uh, leave that at the default um firmware that's also also left at the default microphone settings you really don't have to mess with anything else except path settings where you could you could say see where you want to save the stuff if you're using the built-in recorder but basically uh that's it that's what you gotta do so um yeah uh thanks for watching thanks for watching this episode and if it helped you just give it a thumbs up and uh, send it to your friends that's that are having trouble just so they know what's going on and um yeah this 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 um this emulator is actually pretty cool so um you might you actually want to download this emulator it's pretty damn cool so uh, i'll see you guys uh, with more tutorials later um j any any tutorials that you want uh you can request me uh, please keep it at a safe a safe distance from uh um free programs that are illegally downloaded because I do not want any kind of those on my channel. Um, if you do want tutorials like that, you could head over to my other channel, MXBrysteroid1. Uh, I will also leave a link to my other channel in the description. And I will be starting to upload tutorials there uh, with your request. So uh, thanks for watching this episode, guys, and I'll see you guys later.